And your rhino governor, Brian Kemp, who's been a complete disaster on election integrity. Former President Donald Trump's distaste for Governor Brian Kemp is no secret. And even though Trump is backing Kemp's Republican rival, David Perdue, in the May primary, Kemp is still leading in the latest polls. The race coming into sharp focus as a test of Trump's influence. And tomorrow he will try to prove his endorsement still matters in our state to Republicans as he speaks at a rally here. Doug Richards looks at why it is being held in the town of Commerce. In 2020, Donald Trump won 89% of the vote here in Banks County. The question two years later is how much influence will he have when he's not on the ballot? I've been a big fan of his for 15, 20 years. Alan Kelly liked Donald Trump when he was a celebrity candidate in 2016 and liked him even better as president. I'd l love to have that again. So if Trump says vote for these people, you'll probably vote for him? Probably. Kelly says he likes David Perdue, the Trump-endorsed Republican challenging Governor Brian Kemp in the May primary. And he likes Herschel Walker, the football star running for the U.S. Senate with Trump's backing. But Trump is also weighing in on lesser-known Georgia races, like Attorney General and Lieutenant Governor. He's had a lot of uh, influence for me. I like Trump. Yeah, I like Trump. Does how much in but I like Kemp a lot too. Gary Watson says Trump's pull on Georgia's Republican primary will only go so far. Republican strategist Brian Robinson says this will test the former president's clout. Trump's voice is it is still incredibly influential. It is important, and the question in Georgia becomes: Is that the only thing that voters vote on in this primary in 2022? Rose Broom says the answer to that is easy. Mm, yes, most definitely. So if Trump says it, it's a good I, candidate. That's, what I, that's who I'm going to pull for, yes. For many of the voters we talked with, the biggest question on their minds is whether Trump himself will run again in 2024. Many here are keeping their fingers crossed. In Banks County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.